Young horses need frequent floating. The old wives' tale that you don't need to start floating a horse until it's older is um, totally wrong. I mean, just flush that one from your mind if that's what you think. The young shares between two and a half and four and a half years of age have 24 teeth that are being shed with 24 new teeth coming in. It is such a dynamic time in their life, uh, tooth-wise, and on top of which, their teeth are soft. Uh, all those baby teeth are very soft, which is good news for me, the floater, but it's also bad news for the horse because those teeth get sharper quicker. So I've gone in some of these horses that are under five years of age, floated their teeth, and done a, a great job, and come back three months later and found, like, it's almost like I'd never been there before. It's that sharp. That's how quick it can come along. Add on top of that, a horse that has a low threshold of pain, and you've got a youngster that you're trying to go from point A to point B as fast as they can, if it's a race horse, or if you've got a, a dressage horse, or reining horse, or any other, any, any other breed um, uh, of sport, um, you're asking them to perform uh, as efficiently as possible and with sharp teeth, baby teeth coming out, a cap that's hung up, uh, a cap remnant that's stuck between the tooth and the gum, all of which is discussed in the caps tape, um, will will just send a horse uh, into a tizzy and, and there you are trying to do the best job you can and all it can focus on is something in its mouth. Uh, and, and so yes, these young horses need to be seen um, at least twice a year and oftentimes four times a year which is every three months and the reason why I print on the bottom of my bill on every horse that ever gets floated horses under five years of age should be checked in three months is to start you thinking to uh, put the paradigm if you will into your mind that at four months if you're having problems with a young horse on the bit don't start saying, oh, I just had the horse's teeth done six months ago or four months ago. It can't be the teeth. It most surely can. And I've, well, a great example is uh, somebody comes in and floats, uh, does a great job on a horse that's, let's say, about four, between four and four and a half years old. And everything's fine. All of a sudden the horse has problems and you go back, the very last teeth, the bottom and top cheek teeth weren't there at four and a half years of age. They just suddenly showed up. So um, they've been under the, the gums and they just erupted. So those are teeth that have never been addressed before. I don't care how good a floater you are, you're not gonna float teeth that are underneath the gums. So yes, under five years of age, constant surveillance uh, is mandatory if you want to have a horse as comfortable as possible in the mouth. And that's it for young horses. Oh, don't forget the caps and the wolf teeth, which are all under another um, tape.